All right. Um, well, so thanks to uh, Marika and the House of Finance for uh, hosting this. It's really great to have this in Europe um, because one of my big concerns is always that you know the profession is very U.S. centric, um, and I think it's very important to go outside the U.S. Um, okay, so uh, I'm here to uh, represent a fact and uh, myself. Um, so I do a lot of work on gender, so this is like right up my alley. But I'm also the um, chair of EFFECT. So for those of you who don't know, EFFECT is the standing committee of the AFA. Um, and uh, a the AFA is the American Finance Association, the main professional association for finance academics. And uh, we uh, basically approached the AFA. Uh, it was myself and a friend of mine, Michelle Lowry, and said, well, maybe we should do something. And um, the result is a fact, and uh, so here's our website, um, and uh, basically uh, we do a lot of things. I would just want to highlight that we have a reception coming up at the American Finance Association meetings, and so please, everyone is welcome. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put up some uh, uh, some statistics because um, you know we're scientists. This is what we do, right? And uh, I think with more science, one can change the debate, and it's very important. Okay, so why did we uh, set up a fact? Uh, well, uh, actually, it was triggered in part by um, the uh, announcement that one of the main journal editors was going to be a woman. So uh, the journal Financial Economics is one of our main uh, uh, journals, and it was announced that Tony Whitehead would take on an editorship at the journal Financial Economics, and we said, oh, well, let's have a dinner to celebrate. Like, this is worthy of celebration because there's, like, no female editors in the profession. Uh, and in general, there are relatively few women in senior positions. Um, and uh, so this, you know, we're scientists. We wonder why, right? So why are there few women in finance? I think this is a very interesting an important question. Um, and it also seems not only are the few women, but the women don't seem to be advancing at the same rate as men. Um, now, it turns out that in many STEM fields, so STEM is science, technology, engineering, and management, uh, the gender gap has, in fact, narrowed. Um, however, in economics, it is not. So I'm going to show you some data in case you don't believe me, right? It's because. Um, and uh, casual observations suggest that the gender gap is also not narrowing in finance. Okay, so let me just show you this slide, uh, which comes from a, a paper by Ginter and Kahn. And basically what they do is they look at the percentage of female uh, faculty among tenured and tenure track faculty. Uh, this is U.S. data, okay? And they have it divided by, um, so for example, by different fields. Okay, so here, for example, we have geosciences. Uh, geosciences. Uh, here we have... Um, uh, this is engineering, here's physics. Uh, this line right here is economics, okay? Uh, and so what you see basically is, um, you know, so for example, engineering started off at zero, right? And it's still not very high, but the growth rate is pretty high. Economics, uh, you see it didn't start off at zero, but it's sort of meandering along, not really doing much. Uh, and in some fields like geosciences, it starts off very low, but it increases dramatically. Okay, so there's this perception that in STEM fields, um, uh, the gender gap is in fact narrowing, and then you have things like, so this is psychology, right? So uh, there are other fields that are doing much better than economics. Um, so it's not, you know, what's going on? Interesting question, right? Okay, uh, here is data from uh, CSWEP, which is the Committee for the Status of Women in the Economics Profession, uh, which is, um, so a fact is like the, the finance equivalent of CSWEP, uh, and the Committee for the Status of Women in the Economics Profession is a committee of the American Economics Association, the main professional organization of economics uh, faculty or academics, and it was founded in 1971. Okay, so we founded the finance equivalent like just a couple of years ago, so it's like that says something, right? Um, but anyhow, so the, the cool thing is they've been collecting data because, you know, we're scientists and we need to get data in order to understand if there's a problem. And uh, here is the data. So what they basically do is they do the survey of departments and they say, how many women do you have at different levels? Okay, and they've been doing this uh, for a long time. This graph shows data from 1997 to 2017, and uh, basically uh, it's uh, basic broken down by different categories. So the this here is first year students in PhD programs. So this is the data for uh, departments with doctoral programs. 
uh, and you see, okay, well, not much of a trend, right? Uh, here, full professors, you know, uh, I don't know, is that a trend? <laughs> not much going on there, right? Um, assistant professors is the line, not much of a trend, right? So nothing really seems to be happening, okay? Uh, okay, so a fax mission is sort of similar to CSWEPs. We want to collect systematic data to better understand women's representation in finance. Um, we want to raise awareness and we want to engage, okay? Uh, and um, I'm only going to provide you with a brief snapshot of some new data. This is very new data. I was just analyzing it like very recently. Um, and, uh, but if you want more information, we have tons of resources on our website and also lots of data. Okay, so this is um, our latest data, <coughs> and I'm very excited about this because we actually did the, um, the finance equivalent of the CSWEP survey. Okay, so what we did is we surveyed all uh, finance departments that belong to universities on the UT Dallas top 100 list. So if you want to do a survey, first you have to figure out which set of, you know, what's the population you're going to survey. And so we, we took two lists. They may not be the best list, but anyhow, you have to start somewhere. Uh, so there's a UT Dallas top 100 uh, North America uh, universities list and also a top uh, 100 worldwide list, and the lists overlap. Uh, so we end up with 126 universities in 14 countries. And uh, as of 2017, and what we did is we got the department chair emails, which so is a lot of work to do this, um, and administrator emails, um, and uh, we got ethics approval, because nowadays it's very important. And what we did is we sent the survey to the department chairs and said you can forward on to an administrator to complete the data. And uh, you know we had to bug people a lot, but in the end, uh, the overall response rate was 83.33%. Uh, from 12 countries. Okay, some of that data is incomplete, but most of the data is okay. So we have a reasonable sample. Okay, uh, now interestingly, all schools that responded have at least one woman, uh, which probably suggests that the schools that didn't respond, actually I know for a fact that some of the schools that did not respond have no women. Okay, so the numbers that I'm reporting are potentially slightly biased upward, okay? Uh, okay, so here are the numbers. Very simple, right? What does average diversity look like? Uh, so across 94 departments, average diversity was 17% of female faculty. It was slightly lower for the 74 departments uh, with PhD programs. Okay, so diversity goes down 16.35%. Uh, now, it's, very it's great because we have the CSWEP benchmark, so we know what the economists document. Uh, so the corresponding number for CSWEP in 2016 is 20.1%. Okay, so people argue that um, women are underrepresented in economics, actually finance is worse. Okay, and now we know because we've always sort of thought that, but it's true. Okay, um, now uh, on average there's 11.27% female professors. That goes down to 10.79% in the departments with PhD programs. Uh, the CSWEP equivalent is 13.1%. Okay, so, you know, again, underrepresented relative to economics. 23.24% uh, untenured assistant professors in finance, the CSWEP equivalent 28.3%. And uh, there's 31.9% entering PhD students are female uh, compared to the CSWEP of 33.4% entering into economics. Okay, so tons of work. It seems like very simple statistics, but they're very powerful because for the first time we sort of know what the representation is. Um, and so there's two observations. So as in economics, the gender gap increases with rank. Right, so you start at the PhD level, about 30%, and you end up at the professor level, about 10%. Okay, and uh, on average, finance does worse than economics at every single level. Okay, all right. Uh, so I'm going to end with that. I just want to highlight again that we have a reception at the AFA, so please come uh, this year. It's going to be sponsored by Cornerstone. Um, so we're happy to um, have them involved, and um, I'm very happy that I don't have to do the catering organization. <laughs> so, <coughs> so that's very good. And um, you know, input welcome, and here's how you contact us, and please look at our website. So, okay, thanks so much.